Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the uh, CG Casio CG50 calculator in order to find a normal probability. The heights of students in a certain score are normally distributed with a mean 170 and a standard deviation 5. Find the probability that a random selected student is under 176 centimetres. So if we let x be the random variable, the height of a student in a certain school, then x will be normally distributed and the parameters are mean and variance. So, but it's better to write it as the standard deviation squared, five squared. We require the probability that x is less than 176. If we draw a diagram, it would look something like that and we'd have to find that shady region. Okay, we, we can use tables, or, but we can also use the um, calculator to do it in several different ways. Okay, so here we have the calculator. I'll split the, uh, this screen and this screen up so you can actually see it. Now you can actually do it in the uh, statistics menu. So if we go to the statistics menu and enter, Okay, we come up with lists, but we just want to go for this one, which is distribution, which is going to be F5, and we're going to want the normal, which is going to be F1. Okay, normally you just use the NCD, and here you have the data set as a list, but we don't want it as a list, we want it as a variable. So it's because we're going to put the uh, values in ourselves. So we know the upper value is 176. So within here, we need to just put a low value. So if we put in here uh, 9 times 10 to the minus uh, 99, that's an extremely low value. So that will probably work. In the upper value, we put our value 176. So the next parameter is the standard deviation, which is... Uh, 5 and then the next one was the mean which was 170 and to save uh, we can save now that to a list and we need to select a list number so select list 1 okay so we now got that in the memory of list 1 uh, color blue graph. Now we've got the chance of drawing a graph. So if we draw the graph, it will look like that and it will give me the probability 0 0.885. Okay, if I exit that and do it as a calculation, so we press F1, I will just get the uh, uh, calculation of 0 0.884. And we also get the Z values as well. We'll worry about that another time. Okay, but of course, if I want to now uh, redo that as a calculation, you will see in here, I now have this in, this value in my um, menu, and I could now go to the run menu and use that. I've got to remember it's in list one, cell one. So if I now go to, if I press exit uh, menu, sorry, and then press number one for the run menu and now press um, option list number one so and list one now in order to record the cell number I need to put square brackets in so square bracket and these are here so it's shift here and it's cell one and then I need to close the bracket off, so shift here and press enter. That value will come up again. So I can use it as many times as I want. Uh, I, I can do that. Now, you can also do um, normal distribution in the run menu. So if you press option and then uh, F6, sorry, not F6, exit. So just exit that. Option again. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a problem here. Exit. Press Option. Uh, 
stat, was F5, sorry, and then distribution, which is F3. Okay, I want normal, which is F1. Okay, and I want NCD. Now I have to put the values in, um, so I have to put the low value in first, so it's 9 times 10 to the uh, minus 99, comma, and then you have to put a comma in between each one, uh, 176, comma, the next thing you need to remember, it's the standard deviation you have to put in next, okay, and then the mean, you have to put it in that order, make sure you understand the order, and then close the bracket, press enter, see we get the same value, if I now press answer, shift, and answer, I will always get that value. If I want to distort, do it from five more calculations and then perhaps bring it up, back up later, then I can store that value in the memory of the calculator by doing this. Um, first, shift, bringing up the value that I want to store. Press, so just going to do the answer. Press the arrow key and now press alpha and I've got loads of choice, A, B, C, D, virtually every letter of the alphabet. So I've got loads of memory, so I'll just put in A, press enter. Right, and if I do uh, something other calculation, let's just do something sort of six times six, and I want to recall that value again. So I now want to recall it. So it's alpha A exit, and that value will always come up. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to do um, normal distribution calculations on a calculator and store them in the memory so that you can use the value again. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.